hey y'all so i'm back um clean face i did go ahead and wash my face after i steamed it um my lips look really dry right now but my whole face looks kind of dry i did go ahead steam my face just to open up my pores um soften up my pores so i did that um and then now what i just did after i see my face i went ahead and cleansed so i use this mario badescu i think that's how you say it um this is the glycolic foaming cleanser um i did get the travel size one just because i've never used this before so i got the travel size one i think this was that also for like eight dollars so i got the travel size one instead of the full size one because the full size one is like 16 or 17 dollars so i was like let me try it first and see how it does um on my skin um because a month about a month ago i did use the brand called the ordinary and it broke my skin out really really bad and i'm still really recovering from it breaking me out so um i use the squalene cleanser and it really broke me out so bad and it's like my skin hasn't been the same since i've used that cleanser so i'm still recovering from that so i just went ahead and got the travel size of this before i buy the full size one just to see how it if it lives up to what it says it does so glycolic acid is a really good I would say active ingredient for your skin especially if you have dark spots or hyperpigmentation like I do uh, my skin hasn't always used looked this bad sometimes my skin has looked really really good but like I said I had that whole thing with that squalene cleanser that I use from the ordinary so my skin is in recovery right now um so I'm just trying to take care of my skin and I want to help you guys out as well so especially with the new year 2020 coming up we want to make sure that our skin is glowing, we look popping, we, you know, we, we doing our thing. And it's showing through our skin, through our face. So, I did go ahead, steam, that was the first step. Cleanse is the second step. And I hope this is good. Um, I've read the reviews about it and everything like that. So, I hope this, you know, lives up to its name. And then I will purchase the full size one. But for the meantime, I use this mini size one of the Glycolic Acid Foaming Cleanser. And I'm going to read y'all what it says on the back. It says, refine uneven skin tone and texture with this resurfacing face wash formulated with glycolic acid in a soothing blend of chamomile marshmallow sage saint J yeah i don't know it's saying a lot of stuff but it says the brightening solution that deep cleans pores promotes radiance and minimizes the appearance of dry fine lines and uneven skin tone sounds like everything that i need so i do have some bumps going on right now um so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna do some extractions uh i'm not gonna show this part because it's disgusting so i'm not going to show that part um but i am going to do some extractions um with any pimples that i feel like might need to be popped on my face so i'm going to do that but i'm going to cut that out because nobody wants to see that nasty stuff so i'm going to cut that out but if you guys are looking for a new facial cleanser to try i would recommend this only because it has really great reviews online so I would recommend this. If you have hyperpigmentation, I would recommend this as well. So we're going to skip through the extractions and then I'll be back. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I just cut out all the ex the um, extractions because I didn't want nobody to have to witness any of that. So I'm back now. Um, I did my first step, which was steaming. I did my second step, which was cleansing um i did my third step which was extractions and to throw in there also i did clean my face off also with some alcohol before i even steamed my face um just so my face was clean clean and right now i did try to do some extractions on my nose mind you this is the first time i ever did extractions but i did do a lot of review videos and stuff like that i tried to do my chin that's probably why my chin looks a little red um, my nose might look a little red too. I popped some bumps. I really didn't have a lot of surface bumps. Um, I just really have a lot of under surface acne. Um, even though my face is clearing up a lot better. But I have a lot of 
acne scarring and a lot of sun damage on my face as well uh, my forehead too so what i'm gonna do next is i am going to do a peel so i bought this derma e vitamin c instant radius citrus facial peel it says it has glycolic and lactic acids in it okay so i got this from ulta derma e um this was a little bit on the pricier side so um it wasn't that pricey it was about 23 dollars for me that's pricey but um yeah so i am gonna use it today so this is my first time opening it and everything that i buy when it comes to facial stuff even makeup i always go online to alter.com or maybe the company's website and I look at the reviews. I look at reviews, reviews, reviews. I'm always look at the reviews. Reviews, reviews, reviews are my thing because if something says, hey, you know, we're going to do this, the product does this, it does this, it does that. But if you look at the reviews and it says, you know, people that have spent their money on it say, we don't really care for this product, I wouldn't recommend buying that product. This product had very good reviews. It had almost five stars. So it was like four out of, it was like 4.5 out of five. So I thought that was really good. Um, so we're going to open this together because I haven't opened it yet. So it does say 100% vegan. That's good, even though I'm not technically a vegan, but um, that's good. So 100% vegan, soy free, cruelty free. All those things, we like that. So. It does come with this little spoon in it, just to, I think, to, like, apply it with on your face. It says, mini spoon, see how to use a spoon to advance your facial peel experience. So, thank you for your purchase. Um, it says, take a look at all of our product collections. So, they have a lot of different collections. So, I guess I bought the vitamin C one, but they have all these different kinds of benefits in different collections. So, I think this is good. I might have to look into this brand a little bit more. So, this book, this little booklet just kind of tells you what to do, um, how to apply it, I guess how to take it off. So, since this is my first time doing a peel, I've never done, I've done like peel mask and you kind of like peel it off i've done those but i've never done like a chemical peel so um i think i'm gonna go by the steps that's in this book just because i don't want my face to get any worse than it already is so we're gonna go from there it says alpha hydroxy acids help to safely and effectively remove dead surface skin cells that's what we want that's what we like so Citrus fruit puree helps to improve the appearance of discoloration, dark spots, and uneven skin tone. I know a lot of my black women can probably relate to that. So ours gets a lot of work gets a lot worse when you know you have darker skin. So I can I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can feel that. And it also says vitamin C helps to improve the appearance of hyperpigmentation, photo aging, and may support healthy collagen. So all those things are good. These are the key ingredients. All those things I just listed. So, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I'm kind of back and forth if I want to use this little spoon, but I guess I'll use it. It's like a little plastic spoon. So, okay. This is the box. This is what the product looks like. Looks like Derma E Vitamin C Instant Radius Citrus Facial Peel. Okay. A lot of words but this is like a nice packaging i think you get a lot for the price it being 23 dollars. i think this was a good decision so okay it says how to use use enclosed mini spoons to apply a thin layer once per week after cleansing avoid eye area and do not apply on broken or irritated skin apply to the face neck and decollete and tops of hands i don't know why you would want to put this on your hands but okay Leave on for three to five minutes. Remove with mini spoon while massaging skin and rinse with cool water to neutralize peel. Slight tingling after application is normal. Okay, so we about to get tingling in here, guys. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. It has this little top thing on top of it. Um, and this is the inside. It looks like baby food. 
it smells like baby food too. So I don't. It kind of smells like. It doesn't stink, but it doesn't smell good. It kind of smells like alcohol, like liquor, and like oranges and wheatgrass. Like I don't know, so weird. But this is the this is what it looks like in the inside. Um, I don't know if I can see that too well, but I'm gonna show you the this. I just don't want it to spill out. But yeah, it looks like baby food, um, and it. Doesn't I can't get over this smell, but it's okay. It doesn't smell like it has a lot of chemicals in it. You know when you get those fragrancy like face washes or face stuff. Like it doesn't smell very fragrancy. It smells like a natural. It has like a natural fragrance. Let's do this. It literally looks like food. Like uh, no, but seriously, it looks like food. So I'm gonna put this on my face. This is weird. Oh my god. I've never used the mask like this, of like of this texture in like formula. So I don't really know what to expect. I don't even, I feel like I would do better just putting this on my hands. Cause the spoon, I feel like I'm not getting an even layer, but I'm gonna go by the directions because this is my first time doing this, so. I never thought that I would be putting baby food on my face. On camera at that. So, you guys are witnessing history. So, I don't know. It smells really good. Ooh, I feel it tingling. I feel it. They didn't lie on the packaging. I feel the tingling. Oh my gosh, it feels weird. I feel it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this. As long as it works. As long as it does what it says is done, what it's gonna do, then I did see a lot of reviews saying that they people didn't really care for the texture of it. And you know, but in the smell of it as well but you know if you're paying 23 dollars then hey you might as well deal with it because oh my gosh but yeah so i feel like i got more on this side than i do on the other side And it says leave on for about three to five minutes, so that's not a very long time. Um, so hopefully, this is so such a weird mask. Definitely tingling a lot. Step two did say, massage after three to five minutes. Use the mini spoon to remove the peel while naturally massaging the skin, helping to increase the blood circulation and oxygen flow to facial, to facial muscles. Okay, so probably not going to use a spoon to take this off. If anything, I might use my jade roller um, just because it does the same thing without having to use a plastic spoon. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to try to do the massage and take off at the same time. But right now, I am still only have like two minutes left and then I'm going to take this off. It's, a start, it's starting to tingle less, so I think that's good. But I don't know. We'll see what my skin looks like. I have two minutes left. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I um, was wiping off my face because... That stuff was really weird. So, when I cleaned it off, I did use cool water. Because that's what the direction said to do. So, I used cool water. I'm um, just trying to make sure I got it all off for the most part. And my skin does look a little brighter. Um, looks a little brighter as well. So, 
I don't know. My skin feels soft. I know you're not such a face, but skin feels soft. So, um, that was good. I think this might be something that I do maybe at least once or twice a week whenever I feel like my skin is feeling really nasty. So, okay. Now, just to, I did the peel. Just to bring some hydration back to my face, I am going to do another mask, but this one was a peel, but I'm going to do a actual mask. This is a jelly mask, and I've been looking into jelly masks. I think I've had one before, maybe like a sample one um, a while ago, and I didn't really care for it because I felt like it didn't really do anything, but... I also want to keep the hydration in my face as well um, when I'm trying to clear up my skin, um, clear up my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation, whatever. So I want to also keep the hydration in there because that's what's going to keep my pores from looking so big and being laying on my face, being oily. So a lot of people think that, you know, when you have big, big pores or you have oily skin, that... You know, you shouldn't add moisture to it. You shouldn't use serums. You shouldn't use, you know, oily consistency kind of thing. So, later on in the video, I'm also going to be using some oils and some serums. But I want to make sure that I keep the hydration in my face before I do that. So, I am going to try this jelly mask. I did get this today at Ulta as well. It says Peach Jelly Soothing Gel. Um... A multi-gel for face and body with 90% peach fruit extract. So, I don't know how true that is, but we're going to try it out. I got this. It was like $6. I couldn't really find a jelly mask that I was really looking for that I felt like was at a good price point. So, I picked this up. I don't know how I really feel about the peach extract, um, but we'll try it out. $6. So, hopefully it works well. It is a lot for $6, so... I don't really know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Skin food. So this is the container, this is the top. Um, skin food since 1957. So we're gonna try this out today. And just because the peel might take a little bit of hydration out of my skin, I do wanna use a jelly mask. It's jiggling, baby. This is jiggling like some jello. It smells really good. Um, this is something that I could see myself using because it doesn't have a very harsh smell. It is fragrancy though. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't it doesn't smell like a natural um like a natural uh, product. It has like a fragrancy kind of smell to it. So it's okay. I'm gonna apply this, but I'm gonna do this with my hands. Oh my gosh, look at that. So weird. So I'm gonna put this. I'm going to put this on with my hands because I'm going to just kind of put it on. It's clear as well. It may look pink in the jar, but it's because the jar is kind of pink. But it is a clear gel. I'm going to put that on all of my face. And just to add some hydration because this is what I want. Like peels can be sometimes kind of harsh depending on what kind of chemicals they have in them. So I do want to add some hydration back to my skin because you know what? When your skin is hydrated, you're also a lot less oily. So, you know, people think just because they have oily skin, that means don't apply anything that has hydrating or moisturizing in it because you're already oily. But if you go all day and you're dry, that's the reason why you're oily. When you properly hydrate your skin, I'm about to school y'all. I'm about to school y'all. When you properly hydrate your skin, that's when you're less oily. So, any off-putting ingredients? At least I don't think I do. It does have fragrance in it. I hate things that have fragrance in it. But it also says it has castor oil in it. Castor oil is really good for your skin as well. Um, especially for hydration. Um, I don't really see anything else that stands out to me or anything that I can really read. It does say aloe vera. That's good for your skin as well. Especially if you have hyperpigmentation. Um, that's really all I see for the most part. Fruit extract, peach extract. That's about it. So, I'm going to leave this one for 
let's say five minutes because I kind of feel it tingling a little bit. So I'm going to leave it on for about five minutes. Hey, y'all. So I'm back. My face is still wet. Um, let me wash that peach jelly mask off. And I would say that I am already glowing. Like, what? I would say that I'm already glowing. Um, side note, I did wash, I not wash, I did, um, shave my face as well. Usually when I shave my face, I like to use like an eyebrow razor, like something like this. I'm pretty sure you girls have seen these, um, just like a straight razor. I know they also sell like the longer ones too, like in the beauty supply store. So I do like to shave my face just to get the excess like dirt and dead skin off i didn't do that today i did do it yesterday just because i knew i was gonna prepare myself for a saturday facial so i did use these these are like 50 cent a dollar at the beauty supply store walmart wherever so and they're kind of just disposable so i have a couple of them this is the one i used yesterday so i do shave my face just to get any dead skin like hair all that stuff and it also allows your makeup application to go on a lot smoother so i've been doing this now that we've done everything else all the cleansing the peels the mask the extractions here's my favorite part we're going to be doing serums serums okay serums special oils i do have my handy dandy jade roller here i did get this from tj maxx um if you've ever seen my um get ready with me to go to sleep um face routine then this was in that video and i use this to apply my oils um sometimes i use my fingers it really just depends on how i'm feeling but when i really want to give myself a nice you know facial or whatever like that or feel elite when i'm doing my skincare this is what I like to use. A lot of times I put it in the refrigerator. Um, sometimes I don't. It just really depends. So, first I'm going to be starting with my eye serum. I did have this in my Ulta haul. Um, if you didn't see that, then go ahead and take a look at that as well. So, I'm going to be using that. Put a little bit of that on my ring finger and the reason why you're supposed to use this finger is because it applies the least amount of pressure than any finger that you have on your hand so you don't want to put a lot of pressure under your eyes because the skin is very thin under your eyes so you don't want to make cause any damage under your eyes so use this finger to apply eye serum because it applies the least amount of pressure and that's what we want for this thin skin that we have underneath our eyes so i'm going to put a little bit of this on my really just like a little bit underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna kind of rub that in and I like to take it up here because you know in like 15 20 30 years I don't want to have no crow's feet even though I know it's probably inevitable but I would like to hold off as much as I can so I'm gonna do it again on this finger I'm put a little more on there and I'm going to put it under my other eye and it has that wasn't enough but it has like this tightening this tightening feeling once I put it under my eye I can feel it tightening tightening however you say it underneath my eye so I like that I already can feel it working on my right eye so I do enjoy that because that's how I know that you know it's working so good we don't want crow's feet girl we want to be looking 23 forever okay so and then I'm going to go in with my nocronamide I still don't know how to say this but I'm going to go in with this I did get this from TJ Maxx it's almost gone three thin consistency so when you're using serums and face oils um you want to make sure you use the thinnest consistency face oil or serum first and then go from thinnest consistency to thickest consistency so that's what i do just because the thinner ones are going to soak into your skin first 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting that all over my face. And I'm just massaging it in with my jade roller. And I really like this tool. It comes in handy. Especially when I feel like I don't want to use my fingers on my face. Um, I like it. It was only like $7 at TJ Maxx. So. I've had this for a while as well. It's almost empty. So I need to go back and get some more. It says it contains rosehip oil, safflower, safflower oil, vitamin E, lavender essential oil. So I really like this. I feel like it does give my skin a nice glow. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a few drops of this to my face. I'm going to go ahead and use the big side as well of my jade roller. I would recommend this to you guys. So um, if you feel like you don't want to use your hands when you apply stuff to your face, um, then I would recommend a jade roller. Uh, I wouldn't recommend spending a lot of money on them because I've seen really expensive ones that honestly, you can get one on Amazon probably for like $5, probably less than that. So I spent $7 on mine. I wouldn't recommend spending more than $10 on one of these. So, um, yeah, that's what I would that's what I would suggest if you do want to get a J-Roll. I'm going to go in with my Retinol Beauty Oil with Rosehip Oil. Helps visibly improve firmness, smoothness, and fir firmness and smoothness for a more youthful looking complexion. Anti-aging and firming. Retinol is a vitamin A derivative. So it is good for anti-aging, smoothing, helping with lines and wrinkles. So I do love 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 this i would recommend anybody that's looking to start a skincare regimen or any kind of skincare routine or even if you just do it once a week i would recommend it doesn't really matter how old you are i would definitely recommend using a retinol caution though retinols are only supposed to be used at nighttime so if you're going out in the daytime i would not recommend using a retinol in the daytime just because it can cause skin damage um some burns and stuff like that. i kind of just try to stay away from the active more active ingredient stuff like i did try the ordinary brand and they're like a cheaper active ingredient company so i don't think i'll be trying their brand again just because it did break out my face um so i'm gonna stay away from the active ingredients and just kind of use the stuff that i can buy in store so but retinol 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 is good it doesn't matter if you're old you know older or younger i would definitely recommend a retinol just because it's going to give you a more youthful looking skin um if you have sensitive skin or you need moisture or you have big pores or you're oily now this is really what's helped me a lot with controlling my oils is retinol so i would recommend it if you do have oily skin. probably only do this once or twice a week but everything else um when it comes to the jelly and it comes to the mario and of course my serums and my face oils i'm definitely going to be doing this every night just so my skin can get back to where i need it to be at okay so oily face and all i'm going to say goodbye to y'all and say good night and i hope you all have a great weekend and yeah if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more like this more videos um everything that i have coming for you guys you want to see that stuff i would recommend that you hit that subscribe button okay so thanks guys see y'all later